Hey y'all, hey, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the chocolate spot where everything is always sweet. So today we got a little competition going on. So if you don't know me, I'm Teresa with Teresa's Chocolate Spot. And today I have a channel that is plus size lifestyle and fashion. So today video is a competition between Shein and Timo wigs. So I've never ordered wigs from neither company. Uh, I normally make my own wigs or order a wig, quick wig from Amazon or something, which I think I'm also going to do a Amazon versus whoever win this one. So I'll do an Amazon versus Timu or Amazon wig versus uh, Shein. But, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm at a table so that I can lay the hair out and measure it. And I'm going to also show you all close up how the lace look. Because if both of them are supposed to be pre-plucked. Both of them are supposed to be 16 inches. And they both were supposed to be a body wave. I ain't gonna lie, I cheated and looked at both of them. But I haven't went into details. So right now we're gonna go into details and I'm gonna show you how everything came. Um, so... I ordered these separately because I ain't had, I, come to find out I did. So, and also I'm not putting the wig on. I don't think so. I'm not, I'm going to put it on, but I'm not putting it on to wear or whatever. I don't think so. We'll see what happened. I might get frantic. Not sure. And a little history on me as far as the beauty field hair industry is concerned. I was a hairstylist, a licensed hairstylist for 25 years in the salons, uh, on my own salon. I make my own wigs, do my own nails. Uh, so that's what we're going to uh, discuss. No, you know, everybody doing hair and making wigs and stuff now because of YouTube, you're showing them. So we're just gonna discuss some affordable wigs. Again, I tried to get I got both of the wigs at 16 inch. I made sure that both of them was $60. I think between 50, I, I ordered between 50 and $60. So I'll be able to tell you all how much each wig costs. I'll put it on the screen and you'll see it at the bottom of the wig once I put them up. So with that being said, let me get started. So do I want to do okay? So of course, this is a team of wig. This hat came. It came in this bag. Then it came in this plastic bag. And as you see, it says 16 inches on it. I don't know if I need my glasses or not, but I ain't gonna. I ain't planning on doing no reading. So if both of them is a one B. Then it came in this little cheapy bag. Like, come on now. So, right off the top, this is the body wave that they said is a body wave. Oh, and a thing, I didn't get no lace fronts because, baby, who got time for your wigs, your lace fronts, your, uh, to be sliding back off your head? So, these wigs, I brought them with the, with the per purpose of making them glueless wigs because baby i had on my lace front the other day and i'm like i put it on and this time i put it on with glue and you best to believe it was, it was like 90 88 degrees outside you better believe it started sliding back yeah i'm not out gonna be out in these streets with no wig i started off and then it's showing my hairline my real hairline so girl Y'all, I don't have time for that. So, take it out the little net. So, in any means, is this a body wave? It, it's not a body wave. I, I don't know 
was to it to me it don't look like it's 16 inches either but whatever we're gonna put it on my hand so you all could get a close-up of the hairline um i think it's pre-plucked uh, it's pre-plucked enough for me let me say that because i personally don't super pluck my edges because not do I want to look like a sumo re wrestler wig, but I also don't want no thin edge ass wig. I, I I don't I don't understand that for the life of me. I see a lot of people that be super plucked out, and they saying that they wanted to look like they um, edges. Personally, I don't. Uh, if my edges thin, why well, won't put on a thin edge wig? I just don't. But to each his own, and you can pluck what you want to. I'm, I see a flaw already in this that I don't. It will it will kind of stop you from how you style it. So, shit. Can you all see how the whole track showing right here that's on the thing, and it's not enough hair to cover it? Like that would mean me pulling hair from way over here to cover it. So if you wanted to just wear your hair without baby hair. Cause that's that I want that to be an option. You probably will. It's not like that really on this side for so for some reason that side look a little bit better, but this side is obvious a track. You can see the thread and everything. Um another thing that I noticed about this wig is 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 this how thin these were. Now, I read the reviews. People had great reviews on this hair. So, what I want to do, personally, with the measuring, I want to measure it from the, the front of the wig to the bottom. But I also want to take up a piece of hair from the middle or top and measure a hair. So, we're going to start with measuring this hair. Because, one, I know that the hair in the middle is not a 16 inch. I know it's not. So, as I told you, I have my measuring tape here. And we're going to measure from the scalp of this. No, that's 10 inches, which I already figured that. Uh, meaning you didn't use a 16 inch bundle on the entire head. You probably put 16 because it's so thin. You probably put a 16 inch. They probably put a 16 inch at the very bottom tracks so from the so it do say 16 actually it say 17 inches yeah it say 17 inches um uh, why it looks so skimpy and skin thin to me because i make wigs is because they use probably so let me measure that let me measure the very bottom of the wig cody acting a fool yeah no the no so this is weird to me this hair on this wig is a 16 inch hair the hair on this wig is at the bottom is 12 inches of course y'all know nipsey because he could jump everywhere he's going to make an appearance so let me tell you what they did they took some 12 or 10 inch hair that they probably had laying around the factory and they may put 12 at the bottom probably two or three tracks of 12 at the bottom and yeah <laughs> and put 10 at the top it's no way that this wig should be looking like like if you use a, a 16 inch hair all over the hair it would be fuller it would be longer and it wouldn't it wouldn't look like this but you see how you got this big separation how it's kind of heavy here then all down here you can see through it that's because they didn't use the same length hair everywhere. They just did 
Oh, trying to be slick. And I guess they were like, it's $50, be happy. Um, and as I told you, like this whole track up here showing. And let me see. Let me part the middle a little bit and see. I should have brought a comb. But my nails pretty sharp because I just did them yesterday. So, yeah, even if you was parting this, it's thin. The, the hairline going to be thin. It's going to be thin. So, yeah, that's this wig from Timu. And, oh, and it has the adjustable straps. Okay, so, yeah, y'all. So, that's this Timu wig. I'm going to put it back in here. Now, let me say this. Can I make this wig look better? Yeah, I could order another bag of hair. I could add more hair to it. I could make it. But that wasn't, that, that ain't why you ordering a little reasonable wig or whatever. And that's not, like, you're not buying stuff so that you can help help it look better. You know, that, yeah, I'm not. So, <clears throat> could I make this wig look better? Yeah. And, baby, if I miss this shit back thing, I'm going to have to make it look better. I'm going to be pissed off because as, what's bugging me the most is that this whole track is showing on... And I know from they made it on the, the sewing machine. Okay, but I know that even me doing it by hand, or if you do it with a machine, why would you take the thread all the way over there if you know you don't have enough hair to cover it? So, yeah. Oh, was I supposed to put this wig on? Yeah, we, we'll see. Yeah, so maybe I better not put it all back because I think I am going to. Let me go and try it on now. Instruction. I mean, instruction construction of the hat like every other wig it got two cones on the side comb in the back it also has the adjustable straps to make it tighter i personally hate using the cones so if i'm not putting my wig down i would rather use barbie pins every blue moon if i don't feel like searching for barbie pins and all of that i will go ahead and uh use the combs but we do know that, I don't care if you're constantly putting combs in your head at the same place, those places are going to get thin and break off, period. Ain't no nice way to put it. So let's, let's try the wig on. I got on makeup, so. Yeah, and a wig basically... Like, all right, look how thin this shit is. Like, this is ridiculous. So, yeah. This is the wig without, uh, of course, styling it and all of that. Um, I'm about to make a wig, too. But I think the, the lace closure that I have is a 5x6. And I mean, four by fours are still cool, but I would prefer to have five by sixes, period. But yeah, this is this wig and my hairline right here. And it's right at my hairline. It's not that it's too tight, but I would have personally, and it come down some more. But I feel like the only way you getting it down more and making it where you probably would want it is, yeah is to well yeah this is where we're wear it. yeah i'm not a fan of the wig period and like i said the the plucking is good i, I give the plucking a a nine i'll get a plucking a nine because it, it's very it's very realistic i like it i personally like it somebody else probably go in and pluck the fuck out of this some more I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm, mm -mm, I wouldn't, but 
the overall wig to me is a seven. Six and a half, seven. And I'm saying a six and a half, seven because they're not being honest about what the length is. For the price for, I think this was $55. For $55, that's a $55 wig. It is. Um, you have to do some doctoring on it. You're going to have to do this. Uh, I also am not somebody that's buying $700 wigs. It could be because I'm a hairstylist. And I, listen, no. I'm not, I wouldn't dare ever by a 700 i hear people like yeah i paid 650 for the wig i also don't wear hair like i got one long wig that the wig is 28 inches so it's like in the middle of my back that's enough for me but i've also had this same wig that i made myself with maven's hair and i think even maven closure but i'm sure i've changed the closure by now have i I don't even know if I've ever taken this wig a loose to change the clothes. You know how some of your, your hair still be good, but you got to change the closure? I don't even think I've had to change the closure, closure on it, uh, lace front closure on it. But again, it was Maven's hair. Um, at that time that I brought the hair from Maven's or whatever, and I think from uh, another beauty, is it Beauty Life or somewhere? I spent like $700 on hair and closures and made my own wigs. And that wig has been running for a good four or five years. For sure, I've been in my house almost four years. So I know for sure at least four years, for sure. At least four, four and a half, five years. And I'm, it's still good. Like the closure's still good, but I can't remember if I changed the closure or not. But the hair... It's still beautiful, but I'm also somebody that shampoo condition my hair really good. I'm gonna get to she ends hair. The hair came in this box, and it says 100% human hair, um, body wave human hair, 16 inches, 180 uh, density, and four by four closure. I think that was a hundred and supposed to be 180. I'm going to put under each wig, I'm going to put all the deeds because I'm actually filming on my phone today. And I didn't, um, and I, and I can't, I don't feel like stopping to look it up. So I'll put it all on the screen at the end. This is how the box that it came with, with it, they put it in the box and instructions on how to clean it. Um, the length of the hair or whatever. So, yeah, they tell you what comb to use. Now, I want you to pay attention to this, too. So, this is why you got to be careful, too. Y'all pay attention to how it's telling you what comb to use. And right here is a check mark. And the check mark says this comb. And then, I don't know why I got a cross against, I, but it don't have a picture of another comb. But, do y'all see these other check things that's not checked under there? Where it say, uh, colored, dye free, and curled. None of that is checked. <laughs> so, nothing is checked, and I don't know... If it's supposed to be 100% human hair, you should be able to do all of these things. It said, wide tooth combs are highly recommended. For curly wigs, use a hand comb to prevent tangles, meaning use your hand to comb through it. So, yeah, it, it, and it shows you that they measured it. Oh, it is saying straight wigs. Well, it's showing that you could cut. Well, it's showing you straight wigs and the curly wigs or how they do it. Uh, I haven't co-washed this wig or anything. or I'm not dying no knots, none of that. But I am going to let y'all take a good look at the knots. It came in this plastic bag. It came with, uh, they gave you a little cap. Came in a net. Yeah, look at the difference. 
in the wigs. Look how full, this is so soft, how full my fingers going right through it. No tangles. Uh, let's get into the lace. I wish that they had the same wig in a, and it, the wig cap actually feels like it's a little bigger. So we're going to measure it just like we measured uh, the Timo wig. Um, but let me show you the plucking first. So this is the front of this wig. I feel like it's plucked pretty good. I want to say the plucking on the Timu wig is thinner, but I think it's because of the Timu wig being the the uh, closure being thinner anyway. So y'all see that? And you also could tell that the hair is falling over where the ends are. You can't see no. Let me move it back so y'all don't think I'm being judging somebody else no look i'm moving it back and it's just you know they covered it period this is covered um it also has three cones one at the bottom two on each side with the elastic strap in the inside of it so let's measure this one Okay, so we're going to measure this one from the top of the closure to, to the bottom. And it says from 0 to 8, it says 18 inches. Then we're going to pull some hair out of the top. And we're going to measure that hair. Now, this is from the top of the closure, same as I did, Timo. And from 0 to 10 inches. So, we're going to go to the back. This head just so much thicker and richer than this, uh, that other hair, the Timo hair. And at the bottom back, it says 13 inches. So, both companies did not use. So, when I'm making a wig and I'm doing 22, 20, 18, I'm going to do the 20 all the way until it stops, which is going to, nine times out of ten for me, and a decent bundle, it's going to give me five tracks. It's going to give me three at the bottom back and it's going to give me two to three from ear to ear. So if I'm using, if I said I want a 16 inch wig and I take the 16 inch hair and I say, and I just start doing it, same thing. One bundle is normally going to give me five to six uh, things for my circumference of my head. So it's going to be 16, which is going to make the back a little longer, but it's still going to layer it. It's still going to give me layers because you going up, it's getting shorter. So I still feel like by the time if I make so like I said, I'm making a wig probably sometime next week, Wednesday or Thursday, I start on it, and I'm going to show that one. And I, I had this hair in this thing so, so long, I don't even know what length hair it is, how much I look at it tonight. But this hair is just so much, you can tell that it's more hair on here. It, it is the wave that I was looking for. And it's, it's pretty. It's, it's softer and it's pretty. The Timu hair was soft too. It just felt cheap. This feels a little bit more 
luxurious. Now, what I will say, this is, uh, both of them are a silky texture. Yeah, they both are silky texture. This hair is just extra soft. And I feel like sometimes you got to be careful with super silky textures to see even if it's going to hold a curl. So that sometimes is a default too. But let's try this wig on. Okay, so I put it on just like I put the other wig on. For some reason, on this particular wig, I don't know why the lace front look a little bit wider than on the other wig. But let's take my finger and part it down the middle and look at how it's covering. Now, of course, y'all know my lace ain't cutting and all of that. But y'all can't tell me that you don't see a difference. Look how full the hair is on the sides compared to the other wig. Look how much length you get into either jet or fullness that you get into either pull it forward. But even if you're not pulling it forward, uh, let's see what this lace is looking like. Yeah, so y'all, it's I mean, let's let's be realistic. Hands down. I'm going to say she in bang this out. Now, again, the pricing for the wigs uh, will be on the thing. They both was pretty decent shipping. I ordered the Timo wig. I probably got that wig seven days, seven, eight days later. The Shein wig came extra fast. I want to say five days. So, you know, if you got an event in, in a couple of weeks or whatever, I'm just giving you, you're going to need at least 7 to 10 days. When you order from either one of these companies because they're based out of China, you're going to need 7 to 10 days for you to expect your wig or your package. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, I like the, the thing. I don't think, let's take it off. Oh, I had put the cones in this. Okay. Yeah, I did my hair for a crochet style because that's what's next. Because, baby, next week is going to be back to 88. I ain't going to be dealing with nobody's wigs. Mm -mm, it's hot. And I'm hoping that I only got uh, 14 inches in this crocheted hair because I don't, it's too hot. I don't, I don't think I had the patience. I ain't going to say I ain't got the patience for hair. See the knots. I'm not bleaching no knots. So, let's see. If I go ahead and put the wig on, style it up, and see where we go. Of course, out of the two, I'm going to give this wig for $60, under $60, because I think this one was $58. I'm giving this a 10. For me, <laughs> this wig is going to last probably a year, to be honest, if not anywhere from six months to a year. And I think that my wigs last so long is because I may wash five wigs, five, six wigs at a time and style three of them. And every week I change out my wigs. Even if they wigs that are very similar to each other, every week I change out my wigs. So my hair and my wigs just last longer probably because of that. I'm also not nobody that put a whole, I don't like a whole bunch of products. So I don't put a lot of products in my wigs here i put a little oil and and a really light mist of oil and i don't if i don't have to i don't use any spritz or holding spray if i don't have to if i have to then yeah i'm gonna use it i don't super hot comb it i don't super curl it yeah i'm i'm not planting my hair all day i'm not i'm not so at this point of the video i'm going to say that 
between she in and Timu, she she in one on the wigs. The hair is more luxurious and soft. Uh, the plucking look just as good. They both are pretty good on the plucking, but the closure itself is better. Uh, it ain't no threads or you can't tell where it was sewn together at. The cap construction is the exact same. Uh, the three combs, stretchy cap, whatever. The hair length is almost the same, but this hair is fuller. So, y'all, let's see what you all get. If you're taking a chance and you're wanting to decide on which company to try a wig from, I'm going to say, hands down, try from Shein. I, that's just my opinion. I don't know what somebody else's opinion is going to be, but I'm just saying... I personally, out of the two wigs that I order, at the price range of uh, between $50 and $60, because that was my budget for both, I want to say that the Shein win is better. Even the packaging was better. I felt like they took out more time to, you know, put the carbon in the wig, to put it in the hair. They Both of them was in a the hairnet. But to like even put it in a box where it just was the pre presentation for me was better. So if I was judging on presentation, she in. On hair length, they both get a tie. No. Yeah, they both get a tie on hair length. On fullness, she in hands down. On the lace front, she in hands down. On the plucking. They both were, were plucked, naturally plucked to me. And on the knots on the lace front, I'm going to go with she in because I feel like these knots are way smaller. And without you having to bleaching and all of that, you're going to still be good. Now, I did see people bleach both of them. I looked at little videos people put up and they bleached it. I ain't going to bleach it. I'm about to go in here and put some makeup on this thing, put it on. And put y'all a little something at the end of the video. Okay, so this is the end results of me wand curling the she in wig. I hadn't ran my fingers through it. So, yeah, this is the end result of. Me wine curling, cutting the lace. Um, I put some makeup in in the inside of it. I didn't put none through the part. Um, I personally didn't feel like it needed. I didn't want any baby hair, so I didn't put it. I did a little hot combing, which is different for me. And I took the tip of my comb and sprayed it with a little evens. Just right here to melt the lace a little bit. But it is still a take off and go wig like i'm going to take it off put it on my wig um head yeah that's just the end result of the she in wig i'm pretty happy with it i like the the fact that it's full but not heavy the wig is extremely light it feels good let me give you all a close-up um everything looking I guess y'all can see where my cap in, but yeah, I'm not going away, so it's not important. Like I said, I didn't put any makeup through here, so you can see that my cap in there. But I didn't bleach anything, didn't do anything outrageous. Literally um, cut the lace, put uh, some makeup in the inside, wand curled it, and yeah. This is the results. What do you think? Again, she in body wave 16 inch 4x4 four four closure. And the price was $58. Not so bad for a reasonable wig at all. And again, the hair is super soft. It's not tangling. It's actually kind of uh, gorgeous. So, I hope you all enjoyed the appearances. Shein versus Timu, the winner. 
she in a 10. See you next time.